Shavua Tov, everybody. Um, you know, we uh, finished Pesach on such a high, actually. Uh, in our show, we read Shira Shirim right before Mari. We ended off um, Passover with a beautiful book of Song of Songs, a love story that the rabbis see between the Jewish people and God. And to get the tragic news, that news of another shooting in another synagogue, another hate crime, and um, a wonderful heroic woman killed, um, and three injured, um, and uh, showing that the rabbis are actually on the front lines, sadly, in this battle against hatred. And it made me think about Achremot, the portion that we've been reading a little bit of every the last couple of weeks, and we're going to read, at least in the diaspora, this Saturday. We read last Saturday in Israel, um, after the death of Aaron's sons uh, and Bikorvatam Lifnei Hashem as they came close, as they came close to God. And so um, even though this is going to be on the portion we're going to read in six days, it's only Sunday today, but I just felt I had to speak up. And um, first of all, saying that uh, it's, um, as Moshe said, the holiest people, sadly, are hit sometimes and sacrifice their lives, uh, and um, really thinking about um, the idea of um, that we don't, it doesn't slow us down. In this portion, we talk all about Aaron going into the Holy of Holies, taking the most risks in the scariest part of uh, the temple, knowing that his two children, two of his four children died when they took risks, when they uh, sacrificed before God. And so the message really is clear from this portion that this hatred cannot slow us down. In fact, in some ways, hatred against the Jewish people, anti-Semitism, tells us that we're doing something right that people are upset that we're bringing a certain message to the world. I think a message of morality to the world, a message of inclusion, a message of cosmopolitanism, as we're accused of, of globalism, that is a, the right message. Even actually in some places in, in Pittsburgh, it was because they thought Jews were a threat, were bringing immigrants to the country, were pro-immigration. These messages that our Torah has of loving the stranger, of reaching out, of being inclusive, of making sure that the temple, ki beiti beit filai kare lechol hamin, is for all nations, these are important messages, and they're always going to be opposed. It's not an irrational anti-Semitism. It's an anti-Semitism. It's a hatred against for what we stand for, the world that we envision, and we're always going to be fighting that battle. And that's why in Achremot, it's not the sons of Aaron were not killed because of anti-Semitism, but in that tragedy, Hashem says, go, go into that Holy of Holies and you got to keep it up. And this is an eternal battle. This is a battle that's going to be risky. We're putting our lives on the line, but we have to continue doing what we've believed in. And I want to add one thing that apparently this deranged 19 year old, this hate-filled person uh, went after a mosque just uh, a week before, a few weeks before, and tried to burn it down. And I think we have to come together. We're seeing churches as places of as slaughterhouse where people are slaughtering them in Sri Lanka. We're seeing mosques in New Zealand. We're seeing synagogues in Pittsburgh and now in San Diego and all over. We have to come together and people that believe that religion does have an ethical and moral message for our world, we have to come together and look out for each other. And maybe the portion of Achremot, <clears throat> this portion of after death, can not only inspire us to go back to our synagogues and go back to our places of worship and go into the Holy of Holies and encounter God and encounter the message that we have for the world and double our, redouble our efforts for that, but also Achremot can be a sign that we have to come together with other people that are worshiping God in their ways, that are 
believing in an ethical system and a moral system in their ways and we have to really look out for each other and realize that we have the similar we're finding a similar battle sometimes Islam seems so different and Christianity seems so different but when we see the people that hate us and the hatred that they have in common against us that reminds us that we are together in this people that want to connect to God, that want to bring God's message of love and inclusion and mercy to our world. We're all in this together. So God willing, as we read Achrimot, and as Rashi, the commentator says, it's much scarier when you really think that these things, people have died for coming close to God. We are a little bit scared and we need to be scared, but remember, we're all scared together of the forces that oppose us. And let's look out for each other. I hope that when you pass someone going to church, when you has pass someone going to a mosque or a Hindu temple, whatever it is, say good morning to them and know that hopefully we're in this struggle together to bring a moral, ethical message to our world, to bring a message of spirituality that brings people together, that allows people to live together in respect. And God willing, Achremot, the sad time of after death, after such sacrifice, God willing, we'll have love and we'll have a world that is safe for people who are devoted to the principles that we all are devoted to. Be well as we start off this week, this post-Pesach week, and hopefully we will have freedom from anti-Semitism and all forms of hatred. Shavua Tov.